Welcome to Fragrance Alchemy. And today we're gonna to be reviewing a couple of products that I've uh, recently la launched um, on my website. And we're gonna be starting the review with uh, a beautiful oil that I acquired um, from a, a very trusted source in Sri Lanka. And it's not like my last one. It does have similar notes, but this one is, is, is different. It's different in that it has it's not doesn't have the projection as 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 my first Silani, but it where it where it lacks projection, it has depth, which is really weird. Um, and even stranger is once you've wiped the oil off, and it sits it sits fairly close to your skin, but the nuances and the facets that come off of it is just breathtaking really truly breathtaking you have these amazing floral notes in there these kind of fresh uh, green notes that are just absolutely superb in this beautiful oil and it's just every time i smell this one it just really takes my breath away it's, it's, it's and i'm sure you, uh, you've heard me say this plenty of times on this uh, on this show Sri Lankan oils are definitely ones that are very wearable, very, very wearable in the West um, and anywhere in, in the world. You won't feel so uncomfortable wearing it on its own. I mean, if you wanted to layer it with other fragrances, yeah, you can do. But it's such a beautiful oil. I, I wouldn't, I, I, I dare to, to layer it with anything other than it's just keeping it on its own. So beautiful, it's so aromatic and just, therapeutic in its nature as well it's so beautiful um, and this one is is super light it's is very light in texture you can see whereas the pre well it was my first one was more darker um, had a bit more of an earthy tone to it whereas and spicy this one is um, has that but it's more lighter and more um, floral um, and, and, and it's got some sweet element in there oh I have to take a wipe <laughs> Anyway, so this is a um, new release of mine, so do check it out. Another new release that I have on the website is Sri Lankan wood, or sinking grade Sri Lankan wood. Now, um, this one is from Ratnapura region, which is uh, a region in, in Sri Lanka, obviously. Um, but again, every single piece of mine here is, is all sinking. Um, and if you guys have never tried sinking grade or burnt it, believe you me, there's nothing like it on earth. I mean, oud itself is just the most magical thing ever. Um, and and this, is, this is part, you know, one of the things that a lot of the distillers um, will always try and, you know, aim for and try to achieve is is to get that same smell in a bottle you know so when they're when they're distilling and uh using different techniques you know artisanal stuff is you know about the equipment about about the grade of the uh, ingredients that you use and uh, and also about the techniques the the main aim is is to get the exact um exact smell that you get what when you when you're burning a piece of argo wood for instance um and Sri Lankan oud, it pro, oud oils definitely come very close to Sri Lankan um, wood chips, but ultimately it's not the same. When you're burning sinking grade, it's just, it really is that, it, it has this kind of amazing feeling that you get. And I understand when the Buddhists say it has the feeling of Nirvana. And it's this beautiful inner inner peace that you get when you're burning these things. It's 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 unbelievable, really, and you know you soon realise why. You know there's so many religions that are actually associated with burning argo wood or oud or incense in general because it does provide you with that calmness and and inner inner peace. It's beautiful, um, and this does not disappoint whatsoever it's, it's, it's breathtaking really it's, it's definitely one of my favorite 
Argo Woods to burn. I'm finding it really hard to choose one particular one actually, but definitely Sri Lankan. And with, you know, I, I mean, I've, I've dealt in Argo Wood for a while now. My, my first purchase was back in 2014 with my father-in-law. We, you know, went into a wholesale operation with him and sourced uh, 11 kilos of the stuff. So I've got experience in that department. Um, and, and in the last, I would say three, four years, there's been this new development in, in Argo Wood um, and a new cheating method. And basically what they do is they'll get a low grade argo wood and what they will do is is inject that argo wood with resin to make it into a sinking grade argo wood piece and anyone who you know most people most people will not be able to tell the difference i mean an average person definitely won't be able to tell the difference um a a, a you know a, a relatively uh, competent argo wood seller probably won't be able to tell the difference it's that good um, obviously one of the best ways to tell the difference and the obvious way to tell the difference is to burn it um, just take a little slice off of it and burn it yourself and smell it you know the thing is you even when you're burning it you'll see the resin coming out because it's got resin in it but it won't have that smell of genuine argo wood or sinking grade argo wood shall I say the, the beautiful notes and tones that you get, the, it, the real depth that you get when you're burning uh, an argo wood sinking grade chip, which burns for a pretty long time and it has layers upon layers of notes and tones. So there are there are you know dangerous people out there at the moment um, selling all sort all sorts of uh, shady wood. Um, so be warned and yeah, be vigilant. So really, I just wanted to touch upon those things and just kind of warn you guys about about this sort of kind of stuff that's going on um, on the on the net. So be warned and, and try to to purchase from trusted vendors, like I say. And one of those places you could go to is Udict. There is a number of um, vendors on there that are, have been doing it for for a good few years, and and they have a, a good selection of of, um, of trusted suppliers that they've all dealt with um including myself obviously um so yeah just just be warned out there because you know it's dangerous there's a lot of charlatans so if you have any comments please leave it at the bottom and share share this video to anyone who's interested in ouds and uh check out my website oudbase.com have a nice day guys bye bye